Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, and this episode I'm going to talk about my longer term review of my Anchor Powerhouse and also the 200 watt solar panels that I bought along with it to power my off road adventures. Cheers, everybody. It's uh, January, end of January 2024 in Anza Borrego. It's going to be a warm day today, probably just around 70 degrees. And uh, I wanted to do a more long term review of my Anchor Powerhouse. So far, I've been really, really pleased with this device. The one thing I can say that's not too great is it is heavy. It's definitely something I don't want to pick up and put it into the truck and then take it out of the truck a lot. The handle um, is really, really handy to just roll it around, uh, but you still have to kind of deadlift it. It's over 60 pounds, so it's not, um, it's not for the light of heart, that's for sure. The panels are, are very good. Uh, they're very sturdy. They're a bit on the heavy side, but I'm bringing in a little over 332 watts. Uh, right now so pretty acceptable I would say towards midday would probably get closer to uh, maybe 500 obviously you really hardly ever get full wattage out of solar panels unless thing is unless the conditions are really ideal but the, the GAN technology for for um, charging I think is a game changer I had a goal zero before and uh, the goal zero I would plug in and literally it would take overnight to charge up and uh, this this powerhouse you can plug it in and it can go from very low charge to full charge in around an hour to an hour and a half I just love that I mean you don't have to worry about getting it powered up the night before a trip or anything like that you can just plug it in and it just powers up really, really nicely. I did test out, I have a Airstream base camp and I did test out the 30 amp plug. Plenty of um, outlets, both a, a USB-C and USB-A. I uh, got the car charger, which that's how I plug in my Ingle refrigerator. And uh, I've got four, four uh, 120 outlets, has a light, and you know, I thought that was a bit of a gimmick, but um, actually I kind of like it. It's uh, open the back of the LR4 and you're stumbling around for something, you can hit that light really quickly and it lights up that area. Uh, the last question is, would I buy this again? Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of powerhouse solar generators on the marketplace, all of these different ones, a lot of kind of knockoffs too that are very inexpensive. We all know that uh, the batteries come from a limited amount of manufacturers, so um, I think you want to be concerned about build quality of the unit, particularly if you're overlanding where you're on a lot of rough roads and everything. And so far I've not experienced anything with the anchor, but uh, time, time will tell. I, I would suggest if you're interested in uh, one of these, sign up on the anchor website. They do have specials once in a while that they'll notify you, particularly bundled specials, so watch for those. Um, if, you, if you're not as extreme of need of power as I am, uh, they have many other smaller units that are also really good and a lot easier to carry. Um, I just wanted to have more power and the ability to plug in my Airstream base camp and uh, camp so I could run some uh, appliances and stuff. So utilizing, um, Solar and solar power is, is really a way to really open up your opportunities to get out and not have to worry about power. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would greatly appreciate a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to join me on more adventures. And remember, friends, get outside.